bench. And the fact that we continued to put this into practice is definitely something I'm proud of and also what I think allowed us to be so successful. Thank you. Hi, I'm Niharika, and I've been playing field hockey for four years. This year, I had the pleasure of also being a co-captain of the team, along with my two fellow seniors, and overall, the season was incredible. Like the other sports, we also we lost four great seniors, <clears throat> but we had amazing talent from both freshmen and sophomores, as well as uh, juniors and seniors, and we had a, re uh, we had a relatively young team. Um, but we pulled through, and we really bonded as a team, and along with our the support of our wonderful two coaches. We were able to move on to regionals and eventually to states for state semifinals for the first time in the past four years. Overall, it was a fantastic experience and I'm excited to see what the team will be doing in the future. Thank you. And so I'd like to, I'd like to get us to go on the other side or at least stand up here and take a picture and have you guys come forward so we can get a picture with all of you, if that's all right with you. Congratulations, everyone, and thanks again. All right, we will uh, move on to our next item, 4.02. Uh, we have a couple of school board resolutions, and um, I will go ahead and read them. Um, we wanna, we'll do each one at a time. And um, we have the, the occasion to honor two former school board members. Uh, thank you both for being here. Um, and, uh, and I have the pleasure and the honor of being able to read the the, the uh, resolution and then we'll take a picture and then we'll do the other one and then we'll take a picture if that works for you guys. <laughs> so school board resolution 01-20. Whereas Mr. Justin Castillo was elected in May 2012 and since July 2012 served Falls Church City Schools with distinction as a Falls Church City School Board member. And whereas Mr. Castillo served as the chair of the Falls Church City School Board from January 2015 through January 2017. And whereas Mr. Castillo served as school board liaison to the Support Employee Advisory Committee, the Elementary and Middle School PTA Committees, Extended Daycare and Advisory Board, the ESOL and Gifted and Talented Advisory Committees, the Recreation and Parks Advisory Board, the FCC TV Cable Access Board, Tech Advisory Committee, and the BIE Subcommittee for Career and Tech Education and STEAM, providing excellent guidance and outstanding leadership and Whereas Mr. Castillo was instrumental in the selection and hiring of two superintendents to lead Falls Church City Schools. And whereas Mr. Castillo worked diligently and cooperatively with the general government for the renovation of Thomas Jefferson Elementary School and the opening of Jesse Thackeray Preschool. And whereas Mr. Castillo worked diligently and collaboratively with, uh, collaboratively, I can say that word, with general government in Fairfax County for the expansion and renovation of Mount Daniel Elementary School. 
And whereas Mr. Castillo served on the George Mason Mary Ellen Henderson Campus Steering Committee, the George Mason High School Mary Ellen Henderson Project Working Group, and the George Mason High School F RFP Finalist Committee, working diligently and collaboratively with general government for the development and construction of the new George Mason High School. And whereas Mr. Castillo has demonstrated a commitment to ongoing professional development as a board member, including attendance at the Virginia School Boards Association Annual Convention, National School Boards Association Annual Conference, and VSBA workshops, webinars, and seminars on board governance, and whereas Mr. Castillo has worked tirelessly and collaboratively with the general government to develop fiscally responsible school budgets for the students and staff of Falls Church City. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Falls Church City School Board extends its highest commendation and deepest appreciation to Mr. Justin Castillo for his leadership and commitment to students, staff, families, and the community of Falls Church City. And uh, Mr. Castillo, I have a very nice little framed version that we would like to give you and uh, get a picture with you if you want to come forward or and make any comments. That looks really good. Yeah. Yep. Come on down. Go on down this. <laughs> the honor of uh, reading a proclamation in honor of Ms. Erin Gill. So, School Board Resolution 02-20, whereas Ms. Erin Gill was elected in November 2015 and since January 2016 served Falls Church City Schools with distinction as a Falls Church City Public School Board member, and whereas Ms. Gill served as the chair of the Falls Church City School Board from January through December 2019. And whereas Ms. Gill served as the school board liaison to the Professional Employee Advisory Committee, the Elementary PTA, the George Mason High School Athletic Boosters, the BIE Partnership Council, the Health and Wellness Advisory Committee, and the Virginia School Boards Association Delegate Assembly, providing excellent guidance and leadership. And whereas Ms. Gill was instrumental in the selection and hiring of the superintendent to lead Falls Church City Schools, and whereas Ms. Gill worked diligently and collaboratively with the general government in Fairfax County for the expansion and renovation at Mount Daniel Elementary School, and whereas Ms. Gill served on the George Mason Mary Ellen Henderson Campus Coordinating Committee and the George Mason High School RFP Finalist Committee working diligently and collaboratively with the general government for the development and construction of the new George Mason High School, and whereas Ms. Gill has demonstrated a commitment to ongoing professional development as a board member, including attendance at the Virginia School Boards Association Annual Convention, the VSBA Capital Conference, and Board Development Seminars, and whereas Ms. Gill served on the Budget and Finance Committee with the City Council and has worked tirelessly and collaboratively with the general government to develop fiscally responsible school budgets for the students and staff of Falls Church City. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Falls Church City School Board extends its highest commendation and deepest appreciation to Ms. Erin Gill for her leadership and commitment to students, staff, families, and the community of Falls Church City. And we would like to give you a uh, nicely framed version and take some pictures.
Thank you, everyone. As someone observed, we are getting our, uh, our exercise and steps in, going up and down to the, uh, to the well, as it were. So, all right, moving on uh, now to public comments and requests, section 5.01. Um, in accordance with school board bylaw 2.30, the time for each speaker is limited to three minutes. Uh, additional written statements may be submitted to the clerk for dissemination to board members and for the record. Ms. Goodell, do we have any speaker slips? No, we do not. Okay, and did we receive any written comment at this point? No, we have okay. not. Uh, hearing no comments, we'll move on then now to uh, section 6.01, our closed meeting. Um, Dr. Noonan, five, ten minutes, is that? Um, maybe less, and I might suggest rather than going all the way to the swallowtail room that perhaps we can go in the back uh, and use the office back there because it will okay. be relatively short. So we'll, uh, we'll be back in probably about, say again? Yeah, so... Um, We'll do that. So then we need to, uh, I would like to entertain a motion to take us into a closed session. Ms. Russell. Pursuant to the Virginia Freedom of Information Act, I move that the board convene a closed meeting for the following purpose to discuss or consider the identified subject matter. Personnel under section 2.2-3711A1, in particular, staff appointment, staff reassignment, staff resignation, staff retirement, staff performance, staff change in position, dependent care leave, long-term medical leave, child care leave requests, and leave of absence, and advisory committee appointments. Second. Thank you, Mr. Webb. All those in favor? Mr. Anderson? Yes. Ms. Dimmick? Yes. Ms. Downs? Yes. Ms. Litton? Yes. Mr. Reitinger? Yes. Ms. Russell? Yes. And Mr. Webb? Yes. Thank you. Someone like to make a motion to bring us into close? Uh, sorry, bring us into open, excuse me. Mr. Chair, I move that we reconvene and open. Thank you, Mr. Webb. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Ms. Linton. All those in fa um, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, any opposition or abstention? No? All right. Moving on then um, to would someone please certify the closed meeting? Ms. Lynn. Whereas the City of Falls Church, the Falls Church City School Board has convened a closed meeting on this date pursuant to an affirmative recorded vote and in accordance with the provisions of the Virginia Freedom of Information Act, and whereas Section 2.2-3711B of the Code of Virginia requires a certification of the school board that such closed meeting was conducted in conformity with Virginia law, now, therefore, it be it resolved that the Falls Church City School Board hereby certifies that to the best of each member's knowledge, only public business matters lawfully exempted from the open meeting requirement by Virginia law were discussed in the closed meeting to which the certification applies, and only such public business matters as were identified in the motion convening the closed meetings were heard, discussed, or considered. Thank you, Ms. Lynn. Is there a second? Thank you, Ms. Downs.